And he goes, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, Kalani, two weeks in, uh, you've been at this for a couple weeks. What uh, some of your impressions and what have you noticed about this team as you've been working with them? Um, pretty mature group. I think they, uh, overall, have been really pleased with the way they work together and, and what we're asking them to do. Um, you know, our, our coaches are pretty demanding and uh, I think being able to teach a lot of the fundamentals and techniques has been going really well for us as a group. But um, I've been pleased with, with, with the progress so far. And, um, you know, it's, it's a little difficult to um, look at all the situations and um, especially when you're trying to establish your identity right away. But I think we'll get into that in the next couple of weeks, being able to establish who the guys are going to be that we can count on in the two deep. And then, uh, you know, see if some guys can get better, the guys that, we're, that are proven. How do you feel the transition is going with the schematic on defense, going from a little more man man from zone? I know there are some concerns about DBs keeping their eyes in the backfield, and how do you feel like that transition is being made? Yeah, that's just part of it. I mean, you, you, when you are teaching a new concept and you're trying to, you're, you're a little bit heavier man to man coverage, you know, um, it's a lot different as far as where the focus is going to be. But I think that um, they're, they're grasping pretty well. I mean, there, there's there's some things that we got to fix. Obviously, and it's got to keep getting better, but it will in time with more reps. And um, yeah, so I'm not worried about it. I, I'm really confident with the coaches and um, with how they're teaching their guys. And I think the players are getting a lot better every day. And you obviously want them to be perfect right away, but you can't you can't expect that. You know, you you can uh, demand it, but you can't really bank on it right now. So uh, overall, they're doing well. And, and zone all turns into man to man anyways. So we're just trying to hurry up the process. How are you feeling about your role just kind of as you've gone through these couple of weeks and just what you're trying to do personal? Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I'm involved and getting with a lot of the guys, but more than anything, just trying to support the coaches and, and what they're teaching the guys, you know. Um, I know what's going on on the offense and defensive side and special teams, but um, not a lot of yelling from me, you know, so um, saving my voice quite a bit. But uh, I think also dealing with a bunch of different guys that, that I've been used to coaching where they're a lot more mature and more disciplined. That I mean, these guys, a lot of them served in the jungle for two years, so <laughs> practicing for me is not going to be too hard. Do you do you feel like you kind of follow the the mode that you saw Lavelle do when you were a player, or do you, you know some of the other coaches you've worked with? Or I think so. I think the the concepts and the philosophy are very similar. Uh, I can't be like Lavelle, and then in fact, Lavelle encouraged me to be myself. You know, so. Uh, as coaches, we're going to be ourselves and have our own personalities. There's no way I can act like Lavelle during the game. I'm, I get too animated and excited. So uh, he was really poised, and I mean, this was his celebration, and this was his, this you know, him being upset. So uh, I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, but overall, the uh, the concepts, the principles, the philosophy is very similar, and that's. A lot of the guys that, that are here coaching played under that system, and it worked for a long time, for three decades. So you're not, you're not working on the, the Lavelle scowl is what you're <laughs> No, no. I don't have that, that down. I mean, he's, that's, his, that's his trademark. I can't, I can't steal it from him. I'm not going to be practicing it either. <laughs> you're not starting a program from scratch, and you're not having to turn anyone. You're not having to turn a program around either. How much mm -hmm. does that help the process coming in with the bar set at a pretty high place already? Well, it's a, it's a lot easier to deal with. I mean, guys used to have success here and, and played a lot of significant reps. And so um, there's already proven leaders compared to the places that I, I went to Oregon State. We had to start from scratch, you know, and um, had to try to train leaders and train guys to get, get used to playing and then had a lot of inexperience on the field. Here we have a lot of guys that have played a bunch of reps and I uh, can help the younger guys along the way. And so. I'm not really worried about trying to get the leadership going. And to be honest with you, a lot of the guys are natural leaders on this team. And so that's that's always uh, exciting for me as a coach to not have to worry about that that aspect of, of the team. Yeah, it's worked out so so far, and we just got to keep building on on their their talents and on their their uh, their strengths. And right now, the leadership's one of them. Is Taysom doing more or less than or about what you expected? He's doing more, but I kind of expected that. You know, so I don't know if that makes sense. Like he's just not going to do the bare minimum. That's just not Taysom. But I have to <clears throat> reel him back quite a bit. He just wants to get out there and go. That's so. It's it's a you want that to keep going, but you don't want to take away what that's a huge strength of his. So you know, it's 
that's going to be the battle for him now until September. Just trying to keep him um, reeled up, I guess. Not not trying to go so full go because that's his deal. But how do you how do you calm down a guy that's always one hundred percent? On the expectations front, did anybody stand out this week as you kind of start really getting into the second week of practices? Mm, it's hard for me. I, I could just name the whole roster, you know. But the guys are all doing well. They're all getting better. Um, I don't know. I just see a lot of improvement everywhere. E even simple things like the guys, uh, the run path, the vision of the running backs is getting really, really better. I think that um, they're cutting a lot better. Jamal looked really good today, you know, and O line looking really good on their blocks, um, understanding the combo blocks, D lines improving. So everyone's getting better, and so it's it's hard to to gauge on the name like a couple guys, even though I did. But there are guys that you can always count on to get it done. <laughs> Tanner's looking good. I mean, so yeah, I just just put the roster out there and list them all. They're they're all getting better. The offensive defensive line you touched on that's a little bit. That's you know that's where football games are won and lost. How confident are you in where those guys are at and getting where you want them to be on, on both in the trenches, both sides? Well, we got to get some guys healthy. I mean, that's going to be the key. And then I think that if we have um, if we have uh, all our if we have all our guys, I think it'll be a lot better defensive line wise. But the young guys that are getting a lot of reps right now are taking advantage of everything. So it's going to be a really good competition. You know, on the O line, um, I think we just keep getting bigger and keep getting stronger. I mean, I, I said it before, we're lifting every day, uh, six days, six days a week, and so we're going to keep doing that. And we want, our goal is to get stronger and bigger, and that's a lot of confidence comes with you when you get when you get stronger in the weight room and you and you see the results on your body. I think it carries over to the confidence on the field. So I think the old line starting to get that. And, um, they're all they've always been big, big, strong, ugly guys since I've known them. So just we just want to keep getting them uglier and bigger and stronger. <laughs> what other days are you going this week? You can go Friday, Saturday, or no? We're gonna Friday go uh, Thursday and then Friday, and then we have a coach's clinic on Friday that we're gonna be doing. So um, Thursday will be like the midway mark. So we're trying to uh, it'll be like a abbreviated practice more like a, uh, a faster walkthrough type and then just cleaned up for Friday's practice and then we we'll hit next week and Tuesday Thursday Saturday with Saturday week. being the scrimmage yeah okay. yeah and we'll see how, how we look then so the goal is to get out there and be live and have some guys tackle people and entertain a little bit not give away the, the game plan <laughs> so all that stuff <laughs> it'll be boring but exciting <laughs> Seems like a lot of your guys are getting engaged. Is that something that you're? Uh, oh, like, to the, oh, like good engaged? Yeah. Like, uh, I think RV and Philip Amone. I'm not Cupid, so I'm not the one <laughs> dealing with that. You know, I, I'm just, I'm going to support these guys. You know, they find the right one. You can't tell them when it works. You know, so when you find the right one, love conquers all. So yeah, go at it. <laughs> Get engaged, get married, like to having to be engaged with football, engaged with the classroom, all that stuff. Yeah. So I, I that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know, I think that's more to do with BYU and with uh, them finding the right the right mate. You're not setting up speed dating at the next grower. No, no. I'm, when it comes to dating, I'm not the expert, so I can tell you that. <laughs> Any other questions? You talked about the defense line change a little bit, but you moved a lot of linebackers down to defensive end. Talk about what the transitions like for those guys. We were expecting them would be different for like Sione Taki Taki or even Sai Tau to mm -hmm. on the front instead of being well, off. I think that um, we've always done that. We've always had guys that move up and, and um, play the end and give us a little bit of speed off the edge. But they're, they're, I mean, we have Tomasi and other guys that are there working there as well. So I think you got to have a mixture of both. And, um, change up, you know, give different looks to the offense. And we have guys that are capable of holding up against 300 pound linemen at the line of scrimmage and have a lot of speed. So um, we're going to utilize all our guys and try to get them in the best position where we think they can give us the best chance to win. And I, and having that those speed rushers help. I mean, you watch the Super Bowl and you watch how Denver had those speed rushers dominate, you know, just it limits a lot of people being able to, especially an athletic quarterback. So trying to get speed on the edge is huge for us. Have, have, you, had, have you had a favorite moment just so far, just in spring? Just any, any moments that stood out or any <coughs> just, know, story or anything? Just hanging with the guys. I mean, to be honest with you, like, 
I'm honored to be here with these guys. So every day that I get to be with these players is it's huge, um, especially for the staff. So yeah, just loving every minute of it and trying to keep these guys going. But we're having a great time, and hopefully that translates over to wins. Thanks. All right, thanks, guys.